Hey y'all, welcome to Suzanne Evans Art or Suzanne Evans My Happy Place Painting. Today we're going to do one more painting um, with red. It's a crimson red, your thalo blue. I use a liquid white acrylic and black, which is permanent black. I know this is going to be a little messy, but I mixed red, the crimson red, and a little bit of black to give you a burgundy color, and that's the color that we're going to be using today mostly, um, and then we're going to be adding the spray, so follow along and grab your easel and your paint brushes and your paint, and let's get to it. The first thing that I always put down is my black, so we're going to take the permanent black and just kind of... Well, I've got white on my hand. <clears throat> I put this down as a base for most of my paintings. And we're going to take the small, your small palette knife today and just run it across your black just like we have before. We're just going to make our design. And we're going to do ours Just kind of smear it out. This is just to give you your basic design. And I think we're going to stop there. And we're going to wipe off our palette knife. You don't want to mix the colors on your palette knife because then it'll end up making mud. And this just gives you a basic background. Next we're going to take our phthalo blue. This is on an 11 by 14 canvas, pre-primed canvas. We're just going to kind of randomly put your blue in there. Get out past your black. Pull it back through again. And you want to get a pretty good lump on there, as I call it. And just, this is giving it texture. to kind of lightly pull it. I like some of them go up. We're going to wipe off our palette knife again. Now we're going to come in with the red. It's a crimson red and black. We just kind of mixed it till we got it to the right color. It's a burgundy color. And just kind of sporadically add that in there. Make sure that you cover up all of your canvas in between here. And we're going to come back in with our sprays in just a minute. I'm going to wipe off our palette knife again. Use paper towels or towels, whatever you feel more comfortable with. This will come off your hands pretty easy if you put lotion on your hands before you ever start painting. And then this just pretty much comes right off because I'm a pretty messy painter. So now we're going to come in with my liquid white acrylic. We're going to just get enough up here at the top. We can get our sprays in. And down the sides. We're going to come back and add a little bit of white 
just to kind of mix in with our colors here. Give it a little bit more texture. So we're doing a red, white, and blue, burgundy, white, and blue. We'll wipe off our palette knife again. I'm using an angular brush, one and a half inch angular brush, and we're going to hold it like this and do your sprays down. And you'll see you'll have your blue, your burgundy, white, I usually have to pull it off the canvas. Off of my easel, rather. Just whatever direction you want to have the sprays go, just pull it about half an inch up into your paints and pull down. Make sure you get it all the way to the edge. So we're going to come back in and add some more to it. I usually like to flip my canvas over, but today we're just going to This will mix in with your white paint up at the top and the bottom. And if you need to add a little bit of water and make it flow better, I think that's what we're going to do. Just barely put the water on there. You'll see it makes little dots on your paint. And you can smooth those out. <clears throat> Rinse our brush out. Now we're going to go back in with your palette knife. Draw that off, draw your brush off real good. I'm going to go back in with our bigger palette knife. The bigger palette knife. We're going to add a little bit of the white. So you just dip it into your white. This is the liquid acrylic. We're just going to kind of do some sprays. I'm taking this end of my palette knife. and do in the opposite direction that we have the sprays. Let's just go give it a little bit more detail. Come back in a little bit more white highlights. We're gonna go back over it with some blue wipe our knife off. We're going to get a little bit of blue now. This is thalo blue. We're going to take the edge of our knife and pull it through. And just kind of scratch the surface of your canvas. And come back through with a little bit more blue. I'm 
I'm just kind of pull it, drag it, give it texture. Now what we're going to do is to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. Take the end of your palette knife and just kind of randomly scratch. Not hard, but just put a little bit of design in there, however you want, make your scratches. Now when we come in with our black, I'm just going to take a little bit of it, go barely up into it, and just kind of randomly pull some of these out. And go back in with our burgundy, which is your crimson red and black mixed together to give it the burgundy look. And we're going to come back in, add a little bit more burgundy. Wipe our palette knife off. So here we have the thalo blue, your burgundy that you mixed with the crimson red and the black. We have our liquid white acrylic. We have our permanent black. And the last thing that I like to do is I take my liner brush, dip it in your water, dip it in your permanent black, get it kind of liquidy. You're going to go in and you're going to add a little circles. On this one you don't want to add too much because you already have a lot going on. I think we're done. We're going to call that one done. Get a close.
what's up. Hope y'all enjoyed this and come back and see me soon at SuzanneEvansArt.com is my website and you can also see me at Suzanne Evans My Happy Place Painting on YouTube. Thank you. God bless.